everybody. Let's Geo go! With A, B, C, one, two, three, and Do, Re, Mi. There's endless people and places to see. From the classroom, they can search and explore. With every adventure, you learn more. They visit countries near and far. They love to learn wherever they are. They see the world in a brand new way. They make great new friends every day. A, B, C, one, two, three, and Do, Re, Mi. Come along and you will see. The more they travel, the more you know. Get ready, let's Geo go! A, B, C, can I borrow a scarf? Cold? Ooh, it's freezing. You haven't noticed? Nope. Ooh, but now I do, which is kind of funny. The teacher was just talking about a time when the Earth was colder and was covered with a lot more ice. Sounds like she was talking about the last ice age. That's when animals like mammoths and saber-toothed cats lived. Some people like to call them saber-toothed tigers, but they weren't really tigers at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I'd like to find out why it's so cold in here. I hope no one minds the temperature. It just needs to get a little colder and it'll be all set. Actually... Cold enough for what? My new ice sculpture. Uh, that's really good, do re -mi. <laughs> Silly, I haven't started yet. <laughs> what were you guys talking about? Mammoths and saber-toothed cats with seven-inch long teeth. Whoa! If only I could go back in time 14,000 years, maybe I'd get to see a saber-toothed cat up close or right on the back of a mammoth. The teacher said that we're gonna learn about a very special place tomorrow. She did say it was a place that gives scientists a window to see what life was like at the end of the last ice age. A window? Couldn't be a real window. No, not a real window. It's a really deep, dark, sticky pit. Sounds messy. <laughs> oh, I love it. And get this. This special place is in the middle of the second largest city in America. Well, I know what I want to do. Let's, Let's search it. it! New York City has the most people, and Los Angeles has the second most. That's in the state of California. Ooh, Hollywood's there. Now let's add Deep Dark Pit and Ice Age. Look, a statue of a mammoth. And it's standing in something that looks like it could be a deep, dark, sticky pit. Oh, I think that must be the place our teacher was talking about. The La Brea Tar Pits. Let's Geo go! It's this way, come on! I wonder what a pit filled with tar has to do with the last ice age. I'm sure we're about to find out. That sign says the La Brea Tar Pits. It's time to explore. And learn more and more. Way. Follow me. Oh, ABC, one, two, three, do re me. For a minute, I thought my sandwich was escaping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Amelia. I'm so happy to meet you all. How are Hello you? there. Are you a scientist? Yes. I get to dig the prehistoric fossils of animals and plants out of the muckiest, stickiest, tariest pits you've ever seen. And yes, it is as fun as it sounds. That's fantastic. You must be a paleontologist. Well, if you like fossils like this 10,000-year-old skull of a dire wolf, then you'd love paleontology, too. A dire wolf? Are they still alive today? No, they're extinct. They were a lot like the gray wolf of today, but bigger. Fossils like this give us clues about the animals of the past and the world they lived in. Start with these fangs. Do you think they're used for eating plants or animals? Definitely animals. See how sharp the teeth are? Very good. Animals that eat other animals are called carnivores, like mountain lions, wolves, and sharks. And animals that eat only plants, like cows, sheep, and horses, are called herbivores. So exactly how did all these fossils get here? I'll show you. 
This pit is filled with fossil remains from animals that were trapped here from 10 to 40,000 years ago. Whoa! You see, oil that formed a long time ago, down deep in the earth, seeped up through cracks and formed pools of dark, sticky tar. When it rained, water would cover the tar. Then, Animals like mammoths would come to drink the water, and they'd get stuck. Since they couldn't get away, they attracted carnivores like saber-toothed cats and dire wolves who also got stuck. And that's where they stayed until a bunch of fossil-loving paleontologists like me came along about 100 years ago and started digging them up and examining them to better understand the world they lived in. So that's why the teacher called the La Brea Tar Pits a window in time. I just wish I could jump through that window into the Ice Age. ABC, I think it's time for you to see the museum. Me fa so la ti whoa! You can say that again. <laughs> Don't re me fa so la ti whoa! So all these animals used to live right here in Los Angeles? Yes, but long before there was a city here with giant animals like these roamed the land. Where did they go? Over here! Follow me! Well, some scientists think that the climate became too warm and dry here for the mammoths with their heavy fur coats. And the ones that stayed behind got stuck in the tar? Some of them did. Also, some scientists think that a lot of the animals were hunted by people for food. This is amazing! The skeleton of an actual saber-toothed cat. This just makes me wish more that I could be back in the actual Ice Age. <laughs> you can! Well, once I finish testing my first epic game about the Ice Age, Mammoth Valley. Mammoth Valley? I want to play! Raji's game will be a great learning tool for kids here at the museum. It will feel like you're right there living with the mammoths, dire wolves, and saber-toothed cats. Oh, I want to try it! Is the game ready? Well, I haven't exactly finished testing it, but you could test it in a way nobody else ever could. I mean, if you want to. ABC, let's think this through. Don't you me? Do you really want to be the first to try something like this? Why do I ask? Wait for me! Are we really in the Ice Age? It doesn't look very icy to me. A lot of the Earth was covered in ice, but not all of it. Like the area that would become Los Angeles. It was just a lot colder than it is now. Look over there! Who wants to ride a mammoth? I do! Me too! All you have to do is answer the following question correctly. True or false? A mammoth is a carnivore. False! Right! They're herbivores! Hey, I like this game! This is awesome! <laughs> Race ya! Better watch out, do re me. We're right behind you. Not if I can help it. Winner! Oh, hey, guys. What took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> Or false. A dire wolf's poop can be a fossil. True, true, true! Fossils can also be teeth, eggs, footprints, and shells. You're the biggest pet I've ever had. I'm naming you Whiskers. Might be my favorite video game ever! So, what did you think? That was incredible! The mammoths were huge! Oh, very exciting! It was all so lifelike! We better go now, but thanks for letting us see what it was like during the Ice Age. And learn all about the amazing animals that lived here thousands of years ago!
go. Like whiskers. Thank it you. Whiskers? Can we look now, do re -Mi? Not yet. If it gets any colder in here, we're going to have our own little ice age. Ta-da! <laughs> whiskers! Let's keep him forever. I'll give you five minutes, and then I'm turning the temperature back up. <laughs> now it's time to sing along. Black pits of sticky tar with fossils everywhere. Teach us about animals and plants that once lived there. From dire wolves, sloths, and mastodons. They even found saber toothed cats. I wish that they weren't gone! They all lived in the ice age back 40,000 years. Their fossils show us how they looked from their tails to their ears. Big black pits of sticky tar with fossils everywhere. The La Brea tar pits were such fun. mouse.com